Hi guys, thanks for joining. Dr. Sammy here, and we're gonna talk about Doggy Feline Airbnb, your doggy hotel, otherwise known as boarding. And yes, you can board dogs, cats, and some clinics will do exotics as well, but every clinic is a little bit different. Um, we definitely do get some birds and ferrets and various exotic fuzzballs. <laughs> so fun little guys. So somebody had asked on one of the social media platforms, um, what do I need to know about doggy boarding? Good question, <laughs> legitimate question. Um, I did not realize people did not know boarding existed and didn't know what that meant. So boarding is kind of like a doggy hotel or a feline hotel, dog air and B. So basically when you go out of town and you can't take your pets with you, and you can't find a pet sitter or don't have a family member or a neighbor to bribe, somebody like that, what do you do? Um, a lot of clinics will board, not all of them will. There are boarding facilities around and you basically are putting your patient in a doggy or feline hotel. Um, you know, most people will take them in and out, so they'll feed them, water them. Some places will give medications. Here we do do boarding, so we are comfortable giving different medications, seizure medications, insulin, all those good things. So that exists for you guys. That way you all can go on vacation if you're not allowed to take your pet or it's just not financially feasible. If you're going to Scotland or Australia, you can't take your four dogs with you. Um, sometimes that, that's expensive and hard and you can't accommodate that in other countries or other areas that you're traveling to. So boarding is an option for you guys. Uh, check every clinic, every facility has their own requirements. Uh, the basic requirements are you need to be updated on your vaccines. That is a loaded question to some extent because everybody has a different interpretation of that, including different cities. <laughs> so basic ones are your rabies shots and you have to have proof of that from a vet U.S. veterinarian. We're in a border town here in El Paso, so we do require them from a U.S. veterinarian. They do need to be updated on their DHPP or Parvo shot, as a lot of people understand it. And Bordetella, which is kind of a respiratory thing. Kennel cough is the other common name for that vaccine, the kennel cough vaccine, or Bordetella is the actual name. Those are probably the three basic ones here. Whenever we have patients come in, because we do a lot of different boarding and we don't know where patients are coming from, sometimes we have a good Samaritan who's like, I found this dog but my dogs are trying to kill it. I don't want it to go out to the street. Can I pay to board it while I find it a home? Nobody knows anything about this patient's background. So one of our fundamental basics that we require is some kind of flea and tick prevention because uh, I don't want to contaminate my other patients in the hospital or my other boarders. That wouldn't be very nice to bring it in. So we do what we can to minimize those exposures and those risks as best we can. Um, as far as felines go, kind of similar. Uh, you need to be updated on your shots. Uh, felines get a lot of upper respiratory issues, basically their version of kennel cough. Kennel cough is very contagious in dogs. Um, upper respiratory infections are very contagious with cats. Think of it as kids going to daycare. When kids start going to daycare or first start going to school, they tend to get all the bugs that are going around with everybody else. And upper respiratories are very common in human children as well. So, like I said, we try and do the best we can to minimize that. Um, overall, we do a pretty good job. And a lot of places do, but when there's an outbreak, there's an outbreak and it does happen. So hopefully that answers that question for you guys. And now you know about doggy Airbnb and feline Airbnb <laughs> and enjoyed that. So now you guys know and have a safe trip and enjoy the holidays. They're not too far away and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.